Hello and welcome. How to create the SQL insert script using uh, Python. And here I'm library and uh, CSV. So let's say I have my uh, CSV file. Okay. So I'll show you an example. Um, this is my current CSV file, which has a uh, three columns, right? So passenger ID, passenger class and name. So this file that I am showing is a small subset that I extracted from a, a titanic uh, data set. You can mention here one is uh, import pandas as pd import csv and so uh, I'll create a table name which you can actually change it if you want to do it in the future like for example now I'm going to need so the, the reason I'm showing this is uh, when you're doing lots of times in ETL job or something and uh, you may be tasked to, to create some uh, insert scripts like uh, if you're not using a, a proper ETL tool or maybe even if you're using a ETL tool you may still need to like generate some insert scripts so you can use this file this is a small file so let's uh, <coughs> open the csv data file into a data frame so df is a you can call it anything but i'm calling df so we are going to read the csv file and because uh, that csv file that i showed you just now is sitting in the same folder as this python script so i'm not using any other path here but if you want to use a different path you can create one over there so i declare header equal to zero the first can test it out by see if you want to see the data that's inside the csv file you can do that by calling the data frame uh, head per rows and the editor that you can see here i'm using sublime text as the editor and it's very pretty handy if you want to use it for python so i think i have a typo here so head. right so now you can see it gave us uh, next uh, what i will do is uh, I want to um, save the insert uh, syntax, the script, the DDL into a file. So I will create an output file. Okay. So the output file can be like with open it's in a write mode. okay and we will iterate through the csv file and uh, because we want to read all the rows so let's go ahead and do the iteration okay, for loop for index uh, so the index you can see here the first uh, column that's the current index and if you want to change the index you can change it too but that's not our idea here so we are trying to create a, a sql script so and uh, row in data frame dot enter uh, rows So now this is a for loop. So now it's going to go through all the uh, 
it, it will go through all the rows and uh, it will iterate them and then we will uh, we will be able to go row by row and we will generate a SQL script for that. So now I am going to uh, create a print statement and uh, I already have one so I will just use that. Okay. So print here I will show you what it is doing because uh, print the first statement is insert into so the insert into uh, what it does is is going to uh, create the script and then the table name that's what it is here and passenger ID is the first column this column and passenger class is the and name so if you are aware of a uh, insert uh, statement in a SQL so it's like this insert into table name columns and then values right so this is what it is doing here and uh, I'm opening the output file as append mode so I can as I iterate through I can keep on adding the insert scripts so if I just run this one you won't see anything here because uh, it's going to create a file in an output file but if you also want to see it here you can just copy uh, the print statement whatever it is there and uh, just print print that one so let's copy that and here we'll end this one and now you can see it's printing all of these uh, insert statements here and now the size of the file is uh, the csv file is small so the number of uh, insert scripts uh, the lines would be uh, less whatever you are seeing here but uh, if the data file is really big and you have like thousands or maybe a million rows I mean generally if we let's go check out the output file and this is the output file so it generated the SQL script here and you can just uh, take this and then if you want to like insert into the customer's table you will just run it and then that would give you the insertion of all these values into the table okay and uh, that's all for today thank you